Thank you. How many people here are familiar with the Flickr photo sharing tool? Do we know Flickr is? Flickr? Flickr? Flickr is a photo sharing tool that allows people to socially network around pictures by attaching words to pictures and finding out what other pictures other people have used the same words for. How do people find software in the nonprofit sector? They ask their friends. It's not a high tech process. Hey buddy, what you using for project management? Dude, thanks, gonna download it, don't go change it. We decided to shamelessly steal the Flickr user interface, wrap it around software records, and now we've got a social software site that allows you to find out what other practitioners in the nonprofit sector are using. This is the home page before I log in. It's telling me what's in a general community toolbox. Most recently added event software, before that asterisk, before that blog spot. Hey, okay, but I want something more interesting. So wait, let's go here. I've logged in, suddenly I'm seeing the power of social networking. Over here are a list of people who I've found to be compelling in the system. I've added them to my contact list. Owing to the miracle of the modern database, SQL queries are able to tell me new tools in the network listed by my pa pals and allies. Look, somebody added Tor to their list. Look, somebody added NPO groups to their list. Look, Google Earth is hot. Oh my God, game. I'm finding out about tools from other people in real time without leaving my living room. But wait, there's more. Down below, new tools listed by everybody. Just in case I missed that brilliant individual and they listed a brilliant tool, I can also get the all comers populist list. Over here, a community blog, which will be blog hype compatible when we populate it with content. Oh, by the way, here's my list of friends and enemies. But I'm moving on. When other people come to my profile, they not only see my toolbox and can decide he's a happening guy, I need to add him to my collection of contacts. Oh, by the way, you can also find out comments I've made and other edits I've done on the database, so you're getting a sense of where my reputation falls in the larger community landscape. But wait, there's more. One of the most vexing problems about nonprofit software in general, and I don't think this is confined to the nonprofit sector, it's apples and oranges trying to compare, say, Drupal with Clone with other content management systems because there's not a common metadata format. We have taken the liberty of defining what we consider to be a common superset of metadata regarding any piece of software, whether it's Firefox, a content management system, or my mother's Blender software. On the basic tab are basic things you'd basically expect. Summary, publisher, homepage, version, license, and tags. Oh my god, the list goes on. But wait, this is also hypeware compatible because in a fashion similar to Wikipedia, we allow collaborative editing of any field in the database. So if I suddenly know about a new version of Drupal, I simply click on the pin icon and I am changing the version of Drupal. Owing to the miracle of RSS, anybody who has put into their RSS reader the XML RSS link for Drupal is then notified about a new version of Drupal without ever having to leave their living room. Oh my god, it's incredible. But wait. Amazon.com. People who bought this book also bought these books. Hey, people who use Drupal also use Firefox, Skype, Delicious, and so on. It's another social recommender feature that lets you know about people you need to know about. But wait, there's more. On the community tab, you're able to find out about mailing lists, user group discussion boards, and chat rooms that allow you to find the community of people that might be able to answer a question for you or otherwise empower you with the love you need to effectively use the software you want to use. But wait, there's more. On the documentation page, you're able to upload documents you would find useful for other people to know about in this particular software tool, useful links, including things like Wikipedia and Delicious feeds for that tool. Oh my god, training links, you're able to find training resources available for this tool, but wait, there is also more. We are hype compatible in that there is a tag cloud that allows you to find tools based on the absolutely cutting edge concept of tagging. That's right, we want to pander to every single internet hype concept possible. Users tag this, this gets us around the complex feature map conundrum that wrecks most people's software evaluation life. But wait, there's more. I can find out what software tools are popular based on how many people are tracking them. Firefox is hot. Tor is not, but that's okay, it will be soon. Wait, there's more. I'm also able to search by tag. I click on the open source tag. I get a list of applications that are open source. I could click on evil proprietary where, and there might be something there too. Okay, there's more. Advanced search. You knew we had to have an advanced search. It wouldn't be an internet platform if we didn't. And the usability is low, which further validates our value proposition. <laughs> this is CMS search. Oh my god, this is the interesting one. It's called Find Me My Allies. Search for people using Drupal. Boom, de facto user community. Clouds part, trumpets blare, heavens open up. I've got allies. It's all over. Into the world. Any questions? I can't tell you, we're rolling out next month. Leave your business card or sign up on my list if you want to know more. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Right on.